Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session part 2 on elimination of arbitrary constants. In the first session, we learned the basics on PDE and we see some notations and we solve few problems how to eliminate the arbitrary constants and form the PDE. In this session, we are going to solve some theoretical problems and find the partial differential equations. We just have a quick recap of the notations which we used for the function z equal to f of x comma y that is dou z by dou x is p, dou z by dou y is q. Similarly, we can see the second order partial derivatives. Just have a quick recap on some equations which we are going to use in the problems in today's session. In the previous session, we have seen these for example, and in today's session, we will take one more problem in this kind and then we go to the theoretical questions. Let us take the given function z equal to ax power n plus by power n as equation 1. Now, differentiating 1 partially with respect to x, we get dou z by dou x a into n into x power n minus 1. In the second term, there is no x, so it will become 0. So, I am going to rewrite this as p equal to a into n into x power n minus 1. But I want x power n. So, I can rewrite this as p is equal to a n x power n by x. Now, I will take the term which is not necessary to the left hand side. That is this n and x. So, now it will become p x by n is equal to a x power n. This is what I need. If I substitute in equation 1, I can eliminate the constant a. In the similar way, now we have to differentiate 1 partially with respect to y. Then we can eliminate b. Now differentiating 1 partially with respect to y, we get b into n into y power n minus 1. We know that dou z by dou y is q. q into b n, I can write this as y power n by y. So now rearranging the terms, I need b into y power n. So I can write this as qy divided by n is equal to b into y power n. Now substituting this ax power n and by power n in equation 1, we can eliminate the constants a and b. Therefore, we get z is equal to px by n plus qy by n. Simplifying this, we get n z equal to px plus qy. Hope you understand students. Next, we are going to see theoretical questions. Form the PDE of all the planes that passes through origin. We know the general equation of plane ax plus by plus cz plus d equal to 0. But the question given to us is the plane passes through origin. When the plane passes through origin, when we substitute the point 0, 0, 0, in this we get d equal to 0. Therefore, ax plus by plus cz equal to 0. Or simply we can remember when the plane passes through origin, the constant d always going to be 0. And we consider this as equation 1. Now we have to differentiate equation 1 partially with respect to x and y to eliminate the constants a and b. Differentiating 1 partially with respect to x, we get a into 1. Second term does not have x, so it is going to be 0. And the third term c into dou z by dou x is equal to 0. We know that dou z by dou x is p. So, a plus c p equal to 0. I can rewrite this as a equal to minus c p. Next, we have to differentiate 1 partially with respect to y. Then we get b into 1 plus c into dou z by dou y equal to 0. So, b plus c q equal to 0. I can rewrite this as b equal to minus c q. Now, substituting this a and b in equation 1, we get minus c p into x plus minus c q into y plus c z equal to 0. Now, you can ask a question. Sir, we have three constants a, b, c in this question, but c can be easily eliminated in the following step. That's why I don't bother about c. Now, taking minus c in common, we get p x plus q y minus z is equal to 0. Therefore, I can easily get the solution as px plus qy minus z equal to 0. That is px plus qy is equal to z. This is my required PDE. You can see the 
typed version next we solve few more problems on this kind find the pde of all the planes having equal intercept whenever we see intercept first of all we have to write the intercept form x by a plus y by b plus z by c equal to 1 but the question given as equal intercepts on x and y axis that means a and b are equal either i can take it as a or b now let us write the intercept form and substituting a equal to b we get equation 1 that is x by a plus y by a plus z by c equal to 1 now we have to eliminate the two arbitrary constants a and c differentiating one partially with respect to x we get 1 by a second term 0 third term 1 by c do z by do x is equal to 0 therefore 1 by a plus p by c equal to 0 rewriting this we have 1 by a is equal to minus p by c then simplifying further we get c equal to minus p a just we do the cross multiplication next we have to differentiate one partially with respect to y then we get 1 by b into 1 plus do z by do y into 1 by c equal to 0 so 1 by b plus q by c equal to 0 rewriting this we get c equal to minus q a now you should not always think that we have to substitute something in the equation 1 and eliminate the constant my aim is to eliminate the constant now see this two equations if i equate this i'll get minus p a is equal to minus q a now cancelling this a and the minus we get p equal to q as my required pde so you should not always think that i have to find something and substitute in equation 1 my aim is to eliminate the constant a and c i can do in any way and we are going to see one more problem find the pde of all the spheres so we know the sphere x minus a whole square y minus b whole square plus z minus c whole square is equal to r square here a b c are the center and r is the radius but here the question is find the pd of all the sphere whose radius is c and having their centers on x o y plane in x o y plane we will have only two constants a and b then the c will become zero therefore the required equation is x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square plus z square is equal to c square suppose if it is given as y o z plane then we have to take 0 b c similarly x o z plane then we have to take a 0 c now differentiating one partially with respect to x we can try to eliminate the two arbitrary constants a and b so we get 2 into x minus a plus second term is 0 then 2z into do z by do x is equal to 0 so we get 2 into x minus a plus 2 into z p equal to 0 now rewriting this 2 into x minus a is equal to minus 2z p i can cancel this to because my aim is to eliminate this x minus a y minus b so i can rewrite this as x minus a is equal to minus z p in the similar way i want to find y minus b differentiating one partially with respect to y we get 2 into y minus b plus 2z do z by do y equal to 0 so i can rewrite this as 2 into y minus b is equal to minus 2z q cancelling 2 we get y minus b is equal to minus z q now we have to substitute this x minus a and y minus b in equation 1 substituting we get minus zp whole square plus minus zq whole square plus z square is equal to c square so we can write this as z square p square plus z square q square plus z square is equal to c square now we can take z square outside then we get z square into p square plus q square plus 1 is equal to c square this is my required solution and you should be very careful here a and b are constants c is not a constant c is a parameter that is my radius or it is assumed as c in the given question so i want to eliminate only the two constants a and b hope you understand students next this is the problem for your practice find the pde of family of spheres having their center on the line 
x equal to y equal to z that means here a equal to b equal to c all the constants will become same and we can take radius as r and you can see the solution just write the equation differentiate and you get two equations now we can easily eliminate the constants a from the given problem so you can do this problem by yourself with this we conclude this session thanks for watching hope you found this video helpful subscribe to our channel and share it to your friends see you in the next video bye bye